Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Okay, and now it's time to install this thing that I forgot about, which is the, uh, what is this thing called? It's the little uh, flange, inlet flange thingy that uh, connects to here, to the scat tubing, which connects to the, uh, uh, well, the, the voltage regulator cooling thing. This is to, to get cooling air into the air, uh, from the air box into the, uh, where the voltage regulator is. Um, and I kind of forgot about this. I should have done this probably when the box was not installed and everything. Um, mm. So let's get started. Kind of rearrange the garage here. It's kind of nice. It looks really big and open, having this nice open space here. Put my toolbox here, which I think makes a lot of sense. And let's just do. We're just gonna uh, do a pilot hole, and then we're gonna step it up a little bit, and then we're gonna drill that with a uh, one-inch hole saw, and hopefully that will work. So. Got my piece of this piece. Oh, actually, let me do this. Need some Clayco pliers. Forgot about that. Okay. Let's one Clayco this and slide this out of the way. So this is all protected, it should be good to go. Really shouldn't have any problems with this. Also, I taped over the top of this thing on the ignition coil to make sure nothing got in there. Okay, there we go. Step it up a little bit. Okay, I think that should be good. And then we can get our whole saw. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that should be right about the right size for our hole saw. Okay, I need to move this clamp a little bit. Look at that, that's a nice hole right there actually. Boom, hole saw for the win, yet again. Now 
Now, the thing is, I don't think it's going to fit going this way. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, never mind then. I don't even know why I bothered saying that before I... Whatever. So this is great, because then we can have this guy clear code. Boom, we can put this dude in here. And I think this is going to work out really nicely like this, because this way, in theory, it will... Uh, it will kind of, it'll be a smoother surface for the air to go into, as opposed to having it like this. You know, I don't know, maybe it doesn't really make any difference at all. Okay, I'm gonna drill out three holes on here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, surprisingly easily. I suppose it is just plastic after all. the hand riveter. I'm going to do it from this side because it'll be easier to get flat or it'll be easier to get to this. Wait, we'll check, check tip. Ooh, see this? This little note was a pretty good idea. So yeah, it is the A4 head on here. Check tip size because you could have this one, the A4, the A5. Oh, and by the way, you do need to get these special tips from Zenith. So they're not, they're not just, they're not going to come well, in some cases, they might come with the correct tips if you buy, if you specifically buy that with like this hand riveter. But got to make sure you get those Zenith head uh, tip or the the yeah the Zenith head 
things for the whatever rivets words hard. Okay. Boom. I like it. Next. Next. Boom. Okay, all right, look at that. Beautiful, so now you can see when it's got incoming air, it's gonna go straight into this thing. It's gonna go on here. I'm probably gonna shorten this thing, route it how I want it. Uh, put a hose clamp on there, put a hose clamp on here. I'm not gonna hook it up yet though, cause I got more stuff on the regulator to do. And I've got to get my ignition coils sized and running through here and I definitely need to remember to put them through this little grommet thing before I attach the ends on them so I gotta get them to the right length and figure out which uh, you know which igniter is going to each plug cool 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 all right I think that's it for now okay cool so now we got that baby on there that's one less thing to do thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Watch out.